Hi everyone, it's Blair from the Invermere Library back with another video. Today I thought I would read a story outside since it's such a beautiful day out. And the story I'm going to read is called Somebody in the Three Blairs by Marilyn Tolhurst. It's illustrated by Simona Bell. Very obvious why this one's one of my favorites. Let's get into it. Somebody in the Three Blairs. One Sunday morning in a small house on the edge of town, Mr. Blair, Mrs. Blair, and Baby Blair were sitting down to breakfast. It's such a fine morning, said Mr. Blair. Let's take a walk in the park. What a good idea, said Mrs. Blair. Feed the ducks, said Baby Blair. So they took their coats and a bag of breadcrumbs and set out for the park. While they were gone, somebody came to the door. Somebody knocked, and when no one answered, somebody tiptoed in. He sniffed and sniffed. He looked at the breakfast table. This food is too dry, said somebody. This food is too noisy, said somebody. But this food is just right. He looked for somewhere to sit down. This seat is too hard, said somebody. And this seat is too wobbly, too wobbly, said somebody. But this seat is just right. Whose chair do you think that is? He looked for something to play with. This game is too noisy, he said. This game is too cold, said somebody. But this game is just right. I think he's making up some games in his kitchen, hey? Or in the kitchen. He looked for something to drink. This rain is too hot, said somebody. And this pond is too small. What kind of pond is that? <laughs> but this stream is just right. He looked for somewhere to sleep. This bed is too big, said somebody. And this bed is too small, said somebody. But this bed is just right. When Mr. and Mrs. Blair and Baby Blair came back from the park, they saw the breakfast table. Uh-oh. Somebody's been eating my crunchies, said Mr. Blair. Somebody's been eating my crispies, said Mrs. Blair. All gone, said Baby Blair. They looked around the room. Somebody's been sitting on my chair, said Mr. Blair. Somebody's been sitting on my chair, said Mrs. Blair. Busted, said Baby Blair. They went into the kitchen. Somebody's been emptying the cupboard, said Mr. Blair. Somebody's been raiding the fridge, said Mrs. Blair. Naughty, said Baby Blair. They went upstairs. Flood, shouted Mr. Blair. Help, shouted Mrs. Blair. Lot of water, shouted Baby Blair. They looked in the bedrooms. It's a burglar, said Mrs. B Mr. Blair. It's a monster, said Mrs. Blair. It's a big teddy bear, said Baby Blair. <laughs> it's escaped from the zoo, said Mr. Blair. It's escaped from the circus, said Mrs. Blair. It's escaped down the drain pipe, said Baby Blair. Somebody phoned the police, said Mr. Blair. Somebody called the fire department, said Mrs. Blair. Somebody gone home, said Baby Blair. Bye-bye. Come again and play tomorrow. The end. Thanks for listening, everybody. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.